Why do we all despair? I'll tell you why we all despair, because at the very heart of everything, at the very instant of instance, there is a paradox between uh, existence and non-existence. The very essence of your reality is a self-resolving paradox. Now, what do I mean by paradox? I mean a, a mathematical and conceptual absurdity, which uh, breaks rules of logic. Now, to ask the question, why does the universe exist, is, a, is an almost a, a self-proving uh, divine question. Because to even be able to conceptualize and cognize a abstraction, an abstraction such as why does reality exist? How come reality exists? To even ask that proves um, that you are not an unthinking collection of forces and atoms and probabilities. Whether you believe in a top-down creator creating all of reality or, um, as is my current suspicion, you start to think that it's one giant parallel dance between the paradox creating a self-resolution of itself in an infinite time scale, thus allowing the ghost in the machine to rise. And that is something we can call consciousness, self-awareness, subjectivity, or let's go there. Are you ready, atheists? Are you ready for the bad word? Are you ready? or even God. Now, probably best to not say the uh, dyslexic dog word. You know, dog is a man's best friend. Uh, I don't think it's any coincidence that the word dog, probably the most one of the most popular creatures in a man's world and also one of the most, most popular words is literally the mirror image of the creator. Um, doggos, little doggies, um, especially nice ones, can demonstrate a level of uh, joviality and loyalty, which we would find angelic in our homo sapien brothers and sisters. And this leads me on nicely to explain why I do my videos and the style that I do my videos. Yes, I have a mustache. Yes, yes, that's, uh, I did it uh, because uh, no one would watch my uh, rants from the, from the bedroom, from the living room of my uh, apartment unless there was something a bit different so I'm going to shave this off before I pick up the children but um, especially very recently there's a very beautiful momentum to uh, my viewers my supporters the people subscribing ten and a half thousand new subscribers in the last five days thank you and to all the original guys the people that uh, still have access to the exclusive deals for new customers thank you very much for sticking around I did my first video in 2006, I think, when YouTube was one year old, was a baba. And then I started doing it a bit more regularly in 2009, and here we are in 2022. Now, I, I find it fascinating that uh, all you need is a little bit of confidence, a little bit of self-belief, and you can go out there with a camera. It doesn't need to be an amazing professional camera. I use mobile phones and uh, for a variety of reasons um, but ease of editing, ease of placing back in the pocket if it gets hairy and also yeah it, it's it's like special forces they use a, a commando uh, short and stock version of the M4 carbine and if I was out there with a Canon C100 or a, or a XA40 or a, a big ass Nikon or, or um, a pocket camera, you know, with a big lens on it, I would, I would struggle. So I discovered that uh, every single square meter of this planet has the potential for incredible fun, honor, joy, beauty, and comedy. Above all, comedy. And I think you have noticed, my viewers have noticed, that uh, Considering some of the very hairy and controversial situations that myself and the subjects of my filming find ourselves in, there is a, a kind of 
overall current of good mood, good humor, good happiness. Even the people that may not want to be video doing what they're doing, deep down, deep, deep, deep down in their hearts, they know that if they weren't behaving the way they were behaving, they wouldn't get videoed. So we're all, we're all missing that nice, um, that nice strict uh, patrician look at ourselves. We're all missing uh, an older brother who could uh, help us and guide us and be strict for us and be stern when we uh, err and be happy and thankful when we do well. We're all missing that. I had a, a beautiful comment um, because I, I'm almost 42. I'm, uh, I've got a, a very, very large, new and very welcome uh, young viewer base now. Uh, the Sparta kick that went viral on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, thank you very much to the uh, to the uh, my dancing partner in that video. It was seen by I think now close to 50 million people worldwide. And so, a young guy, a young man, wrote a comment that warmed the cockles of my heart. And he said, "I've been watching Charlie Veach videos now all day for two weeks, and he's turned into my dad." Now, unless the young man's father is a, a spontaneous street YouTuber with a very controversial style, I think what he means is um, the energy he gets from me is um, family friendly and uh, helps him to grow into a fine young man. Now, I can't ask for more. Now, I think a few gratitudes are in order as I as I wrap up this video, gratitude obviously to all my viewers and my growing viewers, to all the people that comment. And I love the comments, guys. I don't have time to heart and answer them all. I did a couple this morning, but uh, there's too many of you. And I still manage to read the vast majority. So do comment. I read them. Someone left a comment this morning saying, Charlie's too popular now. Too many viewers to even read or answer his comments. So I read and I answered his comment to uh, prove him wrong. So my first gratitude goes to my family, um, to my children, to the mother of my children, to the people around me who uh, make everything worth it, who give it meaning and uh, a profundity which is necessary if you're going to have any um, meaningful uh, entanglement with uh, your life. Uh, my second thanks is to my parents for obviously deciding in uh, December 1979 to get jiggy with it so that I could be born nine months later in August 1980. Thank you, parents. Thank you for being attracted to one another, created yours truly. And uh, I've already thanked you guys. Yes, I have, my viewers. But uh, an overall thank you also is to the my handlers at YouTube, um, at Alpha, at Google, and at the subsidiary YouTube. I think they're based in Ireland, and uh, they have to put up with my videos and all the thousands of complaints and flaggings against my work. And uh, they had a chance to behead me to execute me a few weeks ago because uh, I got uh, far too many community strikes in one day and they they chose mercy. They chose to give me a, a third chance and uh, for that, uh, my YouTube handlers, I'm eternally grateful. This is Charlie Beach on a very cold and rainy Wednesday afternoon. I believe it's the 30th of March, one day to go until it's uh, Fool's Day. So uh, have a good one, guys. There's no city center video today. I've got too much on like uh, being daddy. So uh, have a good one. I hope uh, some other YouTubers get out there into some city centers here in the UK and abroad and provide us with the footage. Provi Did I say that right? Provide us with the footage that we all crave. This is Charlie Veach. Thank you very much for watching.